On behalf of my party, I stand to oppose this legislation because the justification being given for being legislation is to ensure that more women get elected in the parliament and the state assemblies. If that, justific if that is a justification, why is that justification not being extended to the OBC women and to the Muslim women, sir? Where the representation in, the, in this August House is minimal, very less. Secondly, sir, we know that Muslim women are 7% of the population, but in this Lok Sabha, their representation only 0.7%. We know for a fact that the annual dropout rate of Muslim girls is almost 19%, while it is 12% of other women. Sir, nearly half of the Muslim women are illiterate. This Modi government wants increased representation for Savarna women. They don't want representation for OBC women and for Muslim women, sir. 690 women, women MPs have been elected till the 17th Lok Sabha. And out of the 690, only 25 have come from the Muslim community. In 57, 62, 91, 99, there has been no Muslim woman got elected. May I tell you, sir, may I tell you, sir, and bring to our notice of the August House, that this number has never gone beyond four, four, four members. And when I hear that, no, reservation cannot be given on, on religious grounds, what is 1950 presidential order? It is a deceive. You are deceiving the Muslim community by denying them this quota in this woman reservation, sir. Muslim women face double bind discrimination against being as a woman and as a, and as a Muslim also, sir. This government does not want to live in a world where marginalized people get substantial representation. You want a parliament which is consists of only bade log. You don't want people from Chote Lag to enter in this August house, sir. This bill will deny fair share to OBCs. This bill will, will close the doors for the Muslim representation in the parliament and in the, and in the assembly, sir. We know for a fact, sir, with the rise of Hindu majority and nationalism and the formation of Hindu World Bank by BJP, the Muslim representation has gone down. It will go down further. Is this good for our country, the political isolation of Muslims? Is this good for our country? No. It is not at all good. Is this an inclusive legislation? No, it is an exclusive legislation for those people who are already represented in the August House, sir. May I bring to your notice, sir, this selective affirmation is an election stunt. And may I know that the Prime Minister is OBC. You have only 120 OBC MPs in the August House. You have 232 upper caste MPs. The Prime Minister says I am an OBC, but you are not looking after all OBCs, sir. And, sir, this is, the, this is the love for OBCs. 22 percent only OBCs are in August House, sir. The government talks about Vandana. What sort of Vandana is this when Bill Khuzbano rapists are released? You talk about Vandana when female workforce participation declined from 30 to 19 percent. What sort of Vandana is this when 63 million women are missing and disappeared? What sort of Vandana is this, sir, in 22 million women dropped out from workforce, leaving only 9 percent eligible population employed or looking for, for, for jobs, sir? What? And this bill is what? This is a woman deception bill. This is a check bounce bill. This is an anti-OBC and Muslim woman bill. This is a distraction bill. This is not an inclusive bill. This is an exclusive bill. And may I conclude by saying, sir, by saying that the minorities, the Jain community, no Muslim, no, no woman MP has entered on Jain community. May Amit Shah, can Amit Shah stand up and say, why is there a no Jain MP? Can Gujarat people stand up and say, from 1984, not a single Muslim MP has got elected from Gujarat. And in conclusion, I would say, I would blame Sardar Patel and Nehru for deceiving the minorities in the Constituent Assembly. Had they been honest, had they been honest, the Muslim representation would have been higher over here. Thank you. That is why I oppose this bill. Thank you, sir.